Hi guys, so real quickly, I just wanted to share something I have been using, and it is probably the best set of residential um, millwork uh, families that I have ever seen uh, or used. Um, they, they come out of the box pretty much looking like the, looking exactly like this right here, what you're seeing. They look really good, and they are very, very parametric. Um, so, but before I get too far into it, um, in our world, we're kind of used to getting families for free. So I will warn you, um, compared to free, these seem a little pricey. I want to say they were uh, 30 to $50 range somewhere for the entire set. Um, but it was well worth it um, because the amount of time it has saved me in millwork, in placing millwork has, and editing millwork to make it look good um, is well worth it. So. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the features really quick. Um, there's all sorts of different families. You can see they've got the typical, all the typical base and corner cabinets, all the upper cabinets. They've got tall cabinets. Um, they've got cabinets for double, uh, double ovens and a microwave. It doesn't come with the microwave families and all the peripherals. It's just the millwork that comes in the set, but um, they function great. Um, so just as an example, uh, we'll click on this upper cabinet here. And if you open up the properties panel, um, you've got your typical depth, height, width, and bottom offset. Um, you'd probably expect that to see in any family. Then you've got uh, your materials, which each family comes with render quality materials, which is really great. Um, and then, in fact, let me just show you those. They've got Um, they've put, oh, it's mixed with the project's materials, but they've got um, some really nice woods in here. Um, they've even got zebra wood, uh, which looks really cool. Um, and then they've got like white painted white wood and all that. Anyways, you, you'll have to check it out, but they're render quality and I've rendered them and it looks really good. I'll put those images. Um, maybe I'll show those to you in just a bit. Anyway, so let's go back in there. Um, in addition to the parameters you would expect in a family, um, you can change the doors uh, to different styles. And so let me just show you. Uh, in fact, let me I'll click here. I've got, this is the uh, Craftsman um, set of millwork. And you can see like each family, this is all one family. So it's got four different looks. It's got um, arched and squared off, and then it's got a glass and non-glass version of both the squared off and the arch, and then it's got a bunch of sizes. And then these are all the different kind of cabinets that come in the set. So uh, there's been a lot of work done here. Um, and then the cool thing is on, like for instance, the upper mill work, um, you can, oh, sorry. Um, let's look at the instance parameters over here. Um, you can type out how many shelves you want in there. So if we change it to three here. And this might be a good time. The only downfall I have seen with these uh, families is sometimes when you, depending on what parameter you change, it can sometimes take uh, longer than you're used to, probably because it's um, so parametric. Anyways, so you can see we just put three shelves in there. I should have done it on the glass one so you can see, but, not, but when I hover over, you can see there's three shelves now. Um, the other cool thing is you can control the crown molding and the, this bottom molding. Um, if you don't want it at all, you can uncheck it you, if you don't want base or crown. Or you can tell it you want it on the left and the right and the front, and it will put it there for you. Oh, and sorry, there's also panels too on the like if you've got an end cabinet. In fact, let me show you. See, so it's cool. Like in, for instance, in this example, this tall cabinet is an end cabinet, and you don't want just a bare face showing. So it allows you to put on 
um, some decorative panels to the uh, right side here. And it also allows you to extend the crown around to the right side. Um, the crown functionality is really cool when you start to stagger the cabinets because some you can see you just want the crown on the front, but then the bottom, like I've got it on two sides here, and then I don't know, it just changes for each cabinet. And in order to do this with Revit's custom or with Revit's um, out of the box uh, families for millwork is just impossible and it would never look this good. You would have to do a custom sweep along all of the tops of these and the bottoms. So the amount of parameters in here is just incredible. Um, as I said, you can. You can also take off the, the doors so you could have open cabinets. You can change the materials from glass to solid. Um, I mean, it's just crazy. So then the other thing that's really cool is it comes, there are three sets. We're looking at the Craftsman set right now. Um, you can also purchase a traditional set, which kind of has like the raised panel look. Um, and then the crown molding's a little fancier on this. Um, and then they change the hardware and then you can get modern cabinets and the hardware once again changes as well as the paneling. And then you kind of, this isn't in any of the other ones, but there's a, a vertical door on the upper cabinets that you can get. Um, these also look really good in floor plan. Um, I'm sorry, I have to have the right floor plan. Uh, you can see I've put lights under the cabinets, but they show up nice and using dotted lines as you would expect, um, and in elevation, they show their door swings correctly, and it looks really good. So these are, in my opinion, these are well worth the money if you spend time doing mill work, and for sure if you're showing your models to clients or if you're rendering, um, this will save you a ton of time. Anyway, so I hope that helps. I will put uh, a link to where you can buy these down in the description. Thanks for listening.